What's up? I'm going to be showing you some of the 12 inches that I pulled out of that um, storage unit collection uh, that I bought off of Craigslist. And I've got a pretty big stack of 12 inches. So uh, I'm not really going to waste any time. Uh, this is all stuff. Uh, you can peep my other video. Um, the last one where I, I kind of talk about how I got all this stuff. But uh, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So, um, jump into my stack here, pick this up, we got uh, Boogie Down Productions, we in there, I really, uh, like I said before, man, I really like colored vinyl, um, anything Boogie Down Productions, I gotta pick up a couple copies of that in there, uh, Rough House Survivors, uh, Rough House, these dudes were kind of on the underground tip back then, they were on Relativity, so I mean, you can't really call them that underground, but not a lot of people were, were checking for Rough House Survivors back then, this is, this is kind of a nice 12 inch though. Uh, I had to I had to pull this one out. I actually didn't peep this guy um, when he when he came out at, at the time, but um, I see A sides produced by KRS, the B sides produced by Diamond. Uh, this is Must Stay Paid by Broadway. Nice 12 inch. DOS effects straight out the sewer and um, hard like a criminal. Just kind of like that um, that bonus cut that wasn't on an LP. Um, flexing a little bit harder style for them. It's pretty dope. Um, Mood Karma on Blunt. Nice 12 inch. Um, this one, really hard to find. Milk Bone, keep it real. This is the remix. Um, really nice, really nice 12 inch. You should peep it if you haven't. Um, majorly slept on from, uh, I think it was 96, something like that. 95 actually. Uh, Above the Law, Hunter Spokes. KRS, Sound of the Police. Um, definitely a, an essential. Grand Poobah, 360 degrees, what goes around. Polyrhythmic Addicts, um, rhyme related. This is like an EP. Yeah, pretty nice on uh, Rec Records. Ed OG, I got to have it. Ed OG, be a father to your child. Biz Marquee, Nobody Beats the Biz. This is like a newer release on uh, Cold Chillin'. I think the original release is on Prism. Uh, this is a this was a nice surprise. I'm a I'm actually um, big into Elronius, um, but I don't really have any of his material on wax. Um, found this 12 inch off the um, the Versifier LP. It's uh, Alchemy and uh, Implosion. Nice to find that. This is probably one of the best 12 inches um, that I found this last round. Showbiz and AG. Um, bounce to this and the reason I really like this is because it's got uh, Silence of the Lambs on the B-side it's probably one of my one of my absolute favorite show in AG or DITC cuts in, in general um, the beat is insane on that if you haven't peeped it I'm sure everybody has but um, Silence of the Lambs dope track original version though um, Bahamadia uh, you know how we do and on the B-side the track that Premier produced, True Honey Buns, <laughs> which is kind of, it's kind of ill. She's talking about uh, macking on dudes, talking about uh, how she wants to get with Method Man and stuff like that. But uh, a little bit creepy, but uh, it's dope nonetheless. I mean, Bahama D has definitely got skills. Uh, Sadat X, State of New York versus Derek Murphy, still on the shrink. Uh, Scheme Team, Plan A. I like this one for the 14 Years of Rap uh, track on the B side with Ill Bill and uh, Nonfiction. It's kind of an ill, uh, old school looking video up for that too. Uh, Quest the Mad Lad. This dude was on uh, American Recordings, Rick Rubin's label. Um, and the artwork on this is hilarious. This, this dude is pretty funny too, but um, it's uh, 101 Things to Do When I'm With Your Girl. And this is one of the things I love about Collecting Vital, man, is uh, the artwork. Hilarious. Uh, Sacred Hoop. This is one of the first uh, 12 inches they put out. Still sealed. Um, Kind of, kind of still sealed. Still, see, still got the the hype material in there. That was cool. We run things by the Bush Babies. The dudes are, are majorly slept on. You need to check them out if you haven't. Bush Babies. Uh, Ill Street Blues by Cool Z Rap and DJ Polo off the Live and Let Die album. Um, this is the original release. It was a little bit harder to find. I'm trying to think. Yeah. This is the other Baham Bahamadia uh, 12 inch I found. This is the other other one Premier produced. Uh, I confess, Three of the Hard Way on the B side is the Premier track. So you know why I grabbed that one out of there. Uh, Dreadnoughts, 
causing a menace in the anthem. That's a, that's a group I slept on back then, but it's, it's not bad. Um, th these dudes are getting a lot of respect now. They were really slept on back in the day, though. Uh, Hard Knocks, Dirty Cow Named Harry. Didn't have any of their stuff on vinyl yet, so I was, I was happy to find this. 12 inch on our wild pitch. Pete Rock Seal Smooth, they reminisce over you. The Legion Groove, dope track. Hard to obtain, Ghetto Diamond, uh, Local Hero, and Ism Blues. Another another group they got, they got slept on. I mean, they were on uh, Atlantic, but um, you know, back in like 90, was it like 93, 94? Um, there was so much good material out there. I know I wasn't checking for these guys, but this is a pretty nice 12-inch, hard to obtain. Uh, this is another one that, that totally um, I totally missed at the time. Brick City Kids. This was actually an alias for the Artifacts. Uh, Tame and uh, Elder Sensei, produced by uh, I think it's Vic and um, Vic and Juju from the Beat Nuts. So that that alone at least merits a listen. This is a pretty nice 12-inch. Uh, A Z Do or Die. The uh, 12 inch MOP breaking the rules, Grave Diggers, uh, Constant Elevation, and uh, Diary of a Madman, Intelligent Hoodlum, aka Tragedy Gaddafi, uh, Grand Groove, Cool Z Rap and Nas, uh, Fast Life, K Solo, Can't Hold It Back, Letterman, K Solo. Um, Leaders of the New School, What's Next, with that Large Professor remix. Shabazz the Disciple, uh, Crime Saga. Sadat X, The Lump Lump, produced by uh, Buckwild. <laughs> um, this one, I had, I had never checked this out beforehand, but it's, it's kind of nice. Um, Stretch Armstrong remix on this. Uh, Big Noid, and the A-side is produced by Mob Deep. The B-side is the Stretch remix. Um, Stretch Armstrong didn't really do a lot of production work, so that's kind of kind of nice to have in the collection. Uh, P Rock Seal Smooth, straighten it out. Uh, Fuji's Fuji La, Brand Nubian Slow Down. Fuji's with um, Nappy Heads. This is like one of the, I think this is the first 12 inch they put out, if I'm not mistaken. Sadat X Hang 'Em High and uh, Stages and Lights. Capone Noriega, um, Illegal Life, with Stick You, and the uh, Marley Mall remix of LALA. This is their first uh, officially released 12 inch, not bad. Uh, Shaheem, uh, One's for the Money, and uh, let's see, I'm trying to think. DJ Slip from the West Coast did a, did a remix on this. Um, RNS did other production. Hadn't, hadn't peeped this at the time, but it's, it's pretty nice. Master Ace. Uh, G Best, Nigga, and um, Saturday Night Live. And I'm a sucker, like I said, for the color stuff. This one's a clear vinyl. Actually, two copies of this. Uh, the Game, Dreams. I don't know. This, this doesn't really uh, hold up to a lot of the other stuff in here, but uh, this is some of Kanye's nicer production, I think. So I had to had to grab that one out of there. Another copy of Red Man, Whatever Man. I think I had a copy of that. Uh, my first pickup video out of that out of that collection. Um, bunch of Run DMC stuff in here. Got a Hard Times Jam Master J. It's one of the one of the re-releases, I guess. Uh, there's some more Run DMC stuff in here, I think. Uh, A Z Sugar Hill, rather unique. Just to get a rep, Gangstar. Nice to find that one in there. Um, another one I, I just picked up not too long ago. Went out of my way to get and I found it. Um, this is double 12 inch Rugged Never Smooth M O P. Huge fan of that uh, premiere remix. One of my favorite premiere tracks, probably. How about some hardcore? MOP, the first 12 inch. Uh, Ziggy toss it up. This uh, this this 12 inch cover is kind of ill. It's like a reverse version on both sides. Some kind of jazzy shit from uh, like 92, 93, I think. Uh, this is the other 12 inch by Ziggy, uh, raking in the dough. Grand Poobah, uh, you know how it goes. Lick shot, mind your business on the B side. Off that uh, real to real album. Um, not a lot of West Coast stuff in this collection, but Rally Row, something kind of funky. Actually, I actually had the tape version of this from, from back when it came out. I was a pretty big fan of Ski and CMT's production work. Um, they produced this. Kind of hard to find this one, too. Brand Nubian, I Lie You Akbar, and uh, Steal Your Ho on the B-side. 
cool G rap. It's a shame. Brand Nubian, love me or leave me alone. And Tribe Called Quest, hot sex. So those are all the yeah, those are all the rest of the 12 inches I pulled out of there. Just kind of continuing my uh, storage unit finds. And um, now I'm going to show you the other records that I've picked up through more traditional means, you know, eBay, Discogs, uh, local stores. Let's see. Been looking for this one. For some reason, I never had it up until now. This is kind of an essential, though. Big L, put it on. Don't need to say anything about this. Dope 12 inch. Um, this is one I found, you know, I'm still trying to fill in my major holes in my just kind of like standard 90s collection. Um, some kind of more underground stuff, but the random rap stuff is is starting to find its way into my collection. When I see something that looks intriguing or looks good, uh, a lot of times I'll pick it up. This is an example. Um, Black Marvel with Sadat X, Revelations, and uh, on the A side was um, Right Place for Action. Um, I just figured I'd, I'd check it out. I like Sadat X a lot. I'm a big fan of of, uh, of his work, his his voice. Actually, a lot of people kind of get annoyed by it, but uh, I think it's I think it's, it sounds kind of nice. Um, this is not a bad 12 inch. Had to grab that. Just kind of took a chance on it. Uh, big Daddy Kane, Smooth Operator. Found this one cheap. Uh, still in the shrink. Um, you gotta like Big Daddy Kane. This is off the, the second LP. And um, Smooth Operator, Warm It Up Kane on the B side. That's the kind of thing I always pick up when I see it. Not really something I got on my way for, but um, can't really leave it. This, let's see. The rest of these are these are all records I kind of went out of my way for. Actually, wait a minute. No, show this one first. Um, I did find this one locally, Diamond and Psychotic Neurotics, uh, Best Kept Secret, Double LP, not the original release, I don't believe there was a picture cover version of the original release, I think it was like one of those black sleeves with a promo sticker type of deals, this is like the CDR work blown up, so it's a little bit low res, but um, record sounds nice, um, was really cheap too, so I had to, had to pick this up, alright, so the rest of these, all ones I've kind of been seeking out, Kind of saved the best for the last year. Uh, MIA Paper Planes. Let's see. This one, I've, I've kind of been looking for on the down low. It's not a real rare record or anything like that, so I've kind of been looking for it, you know, as like a throw in. Um, hold on a sec. Yeah, so like I said, I was kind of looking for this one. Um, when, you know, when I could find it, um, maybe bundle it with something else. Uh, volume 10, Pistol Grip Pump. Um, like I keep saying, I love colored vinyl, and um, this is a this is a nice song. This is probably Volume Ten's most most well known known uh, track. This dude was out of the um, whole Freestyle Fellowship, well, not really Freestyle Fellowship, but the whole Project Blow Camp, um, Good Times, all that. Now, this is probably one of the most gangster dudes out of them. Uh, let's get that more bounce to the ounce uh, sample. This dude is this dude's pretty crazy. He's, he's really entertaining though. Like I said, Pistol Grip Pump. Uh, Ultra Magnetic MCs, Two Brothers with Checks. I really like this song. Uh, the Four Horsemen album, and uh, the video for this had me cracking up. So I actually, actually, really, really uh, a fan of this song too. One, two, one, two on the B side. Um, love the old Wild Pitch stuff, so I had to find that. Uh, let's see, this one. I wasn't really, wasn't really, really looking for it, but uh, at the deal that I found on it, I had to, had to pick it up. Boogie Down Productions, The Bridge Is Over. This is the first release of that 12 inch, if I'm not mistaken, on B-Boy Records. Um, this one usually goes for a, a pretty good amount, man. And for the deal that I found it for, I could not pick it up. It's kind of an essential record. Uh, let's see. Been looking for this one, and finally did pick it up. JJ Doom, the Bookhead EP, the sweet picture disc with the mask, um, and the artwork on the back. I wasn't a huge fan of the the Genera Janelle, uh, the whole uh, Key to the Cuffs LP, but the, the remixes on this Bookhead EP are pretty nice. Uh, Clams Casino has one on there, so I got to represent for Clams Casino. He's he's does some mind blowing kind of more cerebral stuff, but I uh, had to pick that up. Uh, this is a uh, this is another one that's kind of kind of random rap, or some people would say. But um, I, I heard this a little while ago and, and kind of made a point to uh, try to find it. Dark Skin Assassin, Lock Shit Down, Gotta Get the Cream, and the Horror. This guy was a Wu-Tang affiliate, I believe. It was RNS. Yeah, RNS did the production work on this. It's pretty nice. Um, 
I found a great deal on that, so I had to pick it up finally. Uh, Gemini, the Gifted One, Funk Soul Sensation Remix. The cover on this is a little bit beat, but it's an extremely hard record to find. Usually goes for like 20 bucks or more. I found a great deal on it, and the uh, main reason I got this, um, if you've got this 12 inch, you probably know the remix by Godfather Don is smoking. It's probably, I'd say it's much better than the original version, which is which is not bad, but the Godfather Don remix is so dope. Um, really glad I finally got this one. And this last 12 inch I'm going to show you, this last record, I've been looking for this for three, probably four months, and it's really hard to find. Uh, the, the Nike promo 12 inch Kanye West, Rakim, KRS One, Nas, the, um, the A side produced by uh, Rick Rubin, the B side produced by Premier, is, is probably one of the best overall um, DJ Premier songs. And it's just, I mean, with these dudes on the lineup, it's, it's dope. I almost feel like Kanye doesn't really belong on here, but this is a crazy 12 inch. A lot of bootleg versions of this going around, but this is the. This is the, the Nike promo version. Um, it wasn't really sold at retail. I know like hip hop sites sold it a few other places, but really hard to find it now. If you can find this, definitely uh, pick it up. Extremely nice 12 inch. So um, my other grail as far as premiere stuff, uh, we're really looking for that uh, Say Goodnight 12 inch by Rex. But um, people are wanting stupid money for that. Um, hopefully I'll be uh, putting that up in one of my videos here soon because I found it. Um, We'll see, but uh, anyway, um, that kind of catches me up on the stuff I've been picking up over the last few weeks. Hopefully, I'll be putting up uh, something else soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.